Hello mga kasayan, so and welcome back to my channel. So I am Dr. Erwin and this is Erwin's World. So kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, do not forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you will always be updated pag may mga bago tayong video. This time, we will be talking about electronic configuration and quantum numbers. So during the presentation, makikita mo kung paano ba um, sinusulat ang electronic configurations at kung ano ba yung pagkuha ng quantum numbers. So basically, mayroon tayong apat na quantum numbers. First is the principal quantum numbers. Then, asimutal quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and spin quantum number. So we are going to write example Li lithium with atomic number of 3. So we write 1s2, then 2s1. So following the OVA principle, which is the electrons are filled up in according to a scheme known as OVA principle or building up, which corresponds to increasing energy of the subshells. Then we count 2 plus 1 electrons equals to 3 equals to the number of protons. Okay, so let us take again another example, N7. Then we write, following the OVA principle of building up, 1s2, 2s2. Then it will be followed by 2p3, completing the sequence of electronic configuration. Then we count the number of electrons given, 2 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 7. So let us take again another example, CL17. So we write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then 3p5. So following again our format. Then we count the number of electrons given 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 17. Again, protons and electrons are equal. So let us take again another example. Oxygen 8 or O8, 1s2, 2s2, and 2p4. So with that, we again count the number of electrons to countercheck 2 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 8. So let us talk about the first quantum number, which is the principal quantum number. So this specifies the energy of an electron and the size of the orbital. So all orbitals that have the same value of n are said to be in the same shell or level. So these are n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So in other words, n is the energy level in an atom. So let us try to draw a sample atom with its equivalent orbital. Okay. So, the first orbital will represent the first energy level. The second orbital is the second energy level. And the third orbital is the third energy level. And so on. That will depend upon on the atom of an element. So let's talk about the second quantum number, which is angular momentum. So this specifies the shape of an orbital with a particular principal quantum number. So a simutal quantum number, or italicized letter L as a symbol, is equal to 1, 2, up to number 5, wherein the subshell represents this asimutal quantum number. So each subshell of S up to H has its equivalent 
number. So S is equal to 0, P is 1, D is 2, F is 3, G is 4, and H is 5. So the third quantum number is the magnetic quantum number. It specifies the orientation in space of an orbital of a given energy and shape. So the symbol for magnetic is M sub L. So this number divides the subshell into individual orbitals which hold the electrons. So the S subshell has one orbital, the P subshell has three orbitals, and so on. So this number um, has this uh, negative 3, negative 2, 0, and positive and going to positive 3. So as I've said a while ago, so S is has only one orbital, so its magnetic quantum number is only 0. So P has 3 um, orbitals, so it is negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So in case of D, you have there 5 orbitals, so that is equivalent to negative up uh, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. So in case of letter F, you have there 7 orbitals. So you have there negative 3, negative 2, 0, positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. Okay, so the last quantum number is the spin quantum number with the symbol M sub S. It specifies the orientation of the spin axis of an electron. So meaning to say that an electron can spin in only one of the two directions, either be going up or going down. If it is up, it is positive one half. If it is down, it is negative one half. So this is in... Um, this is according to Pauli exclusion principle, which states that no two electrons in the same atom can have identical values for all four of their quantum numbers. So meaning to say that no more than two electrons can occupy the same orbital, and the two electrons in the same orbital must have opposite spins. So that's why one is going up and one is going down. Okay, so let us have an example for these quantum numbers. So let us take first Li, lithium, with an atomic number of 3. So first step, susulat muna natin yung kanyang electronic configuration kasi ang kukunin natin ay yung quantum numbers of the last entering electron. So we have 1s2 to s1. Now, in getting the last entering electron, so obviously, yung pinakahuli, uh, 2s1, the one with the highest uh, energy level, which is 2, then um, yung ating s1, so kasama yung dalawa na yan, so 2s1. So, isulat na lang uli natin para may guide tayo in getting the four quantum numbers. So, you have to write the four symbols of the quantum numbers. Yung N for principal, L for asymmutal, M sub L for magnetic, and M sub S for spin. So, dun sa 2S1 example natin, yung 2 dun, that is the principal energy level. So, that is our N. So, you have to write there too. So, then yung S, di ba, equivalent sa SPDF, yung S is 0. So, since yung, zero, yung SI isa lang ang orbital, so, ang value ng magnetic natin is also zero. Since isa lang naman yung electron, upward spin, so that is positive one half. So, yun yung pagkuha natin. Okay, so let us have again another example. This time, fluorine. So, F9, we write electronic configuration. 1S2, 2S2, and 2P. So, the 2P5 will serve as our last entering electron. So, we write the symbol, the four symbols of quantum number N, 
then L, M sub L, and then M sub S. So, dun sa 2P5, alin dyan yung principal quantum number natin? So, obviously, yung 2. So, isusulat lang natin yung 2 dun sa equivalent ng N. Then, P is equal to 1. Diba? Kasi yung S is 0, P is 1. Then, yung P, tatlo yung orbitals niya. So, idadraw mo lang dyan. Tatlong orbital. Then, negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So, diba 5 yung electron. So, idadrawing mo lang yung kanilang spin. So, upward spin muna. Lahat. So, i-occupy mo yung tatlo. Then, downward spin. So, ilan? So, dalawa. So, total of 5. San tumigil? Diba? Sa 0. So, yung M sub L mo is 0. Then, pababa. So, negative 1 half. So, ganun lang. So, this time, baliktad naman. Ang given naman ay quantum numbers. Then, we will identify naman kung ano siyang element. Okay? So, in this example, we have N is 3, L is 1, M sub L is positive 1, and M sub S is negative 1 half. So, that will serve as our guide. So, simula muna, syempre, sulat mo yung ano, yung pinakam last entering electrons based on the given quantum numbers. So, 3, kasi diba N is 3. Yan. Then, L natin is 1, diba yun ay P. Kasi 0 is S and 1 is equivalent to P. So, isusulat mo lang dyan yung P. So, 3P na yung nakuha natin. Then, magdodraw ka ng orbital. So, P yung pattern natin. So, tatlo. So, negative 1, 0, and positive 1. Then, nakalagay kasi dyan, negative 1 half yung M sub S or yung ating spin. So, then, tumigil siya ay sa positive 1. So, magdodraw ka lang ng spin, ng uh, arrow up and arrow down. So, upward. Then, Upward, then another upward ulit. So, saan ba tumigil? Diba sa positive 1. Pero downward kasi negative 1 half. Kaya isa pa ulit. So, hanggang dun sa pinakandulo. Hanggang sa tumigil ka. So, yun. So, bibilangin mo lang kung ilan yung laman ng ating orbital. So, diba 6. So, di yun yung ano mo, yung value ng P na electron. So, 3P6, di ba? So, meron na. So, ang kasunod niyan ay isusulat mo na yung electronic configurations. Na ang pinakadulo is yung 3P6. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, then 3S2, then 3 P6. Ayun na yung sagot natin. So, bibilangin mo lang yung electrons. Kasi, di ba, electrons is equal to proton. Proton is equal to atomic number. Then, tingnan mo sa periodic table mo. Kung ano yung value. So, ayun. Kita mo na. AR18. So, sulat mo na lang yung pinakam value natin. So, you write there A18, the atomic number, which is argon. So, that's it. Kuha mo na agad. Di ba? Dali lang. So that's it. I hope that you have learned something on this video. So again, do not forget to hit like, share, and subscribe so that you will always be updated pang may mga bago tayong video. So that's it for now and goodbye.